See, Christians puzzle me. And I know if they puzzle me, they must really puzzle God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Christians won't read the Bible. They'll go to all these books, all these fake books. Uh, they're just too many to name. Too many blasphemous, heresy-filled books. But the shack is one of the ones that takes the cake. And the shack is a beloved book. Millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of Christians have bought it and read it. Millions and millions and millions will go to the blasphemous movie of the shack. And it's just unbelievable. And they'll say, oh, it's, it's so great. And, and we've got thousands of, of faith leaders who are, who, who love and endorse this movie and book. You know why? Because the devil is the one who's, who's filling your heart and your soul and your minds and your spirit. And that's why you endorse and love this, Christians, because it's garbage. I never read the book. I read reviews on it. I, I only read one book. The King James Version Bible, cover to cover, is a book that I read. And the whole shack thing, I have no desire to read that garbage at all. But I came across an article, and just, just a few little tidbits of the shack, even some things that I didn't know about. They talk about um, God the Father and the Holy Spirit appearing in, in, in forms other than spirit form, which is baloney. Everyone goes to heaven regardless of who you believe or don't believe in, Jesus, Buddha, Hindu, whatever else, that uh, God will not punish sin, that there's not a hell, that God is a woman, that Jesus is making, in a, is in a wood shop making birdhouses and flower boxes for the Holy Spirit, that God needs man to approve of his decisions, that God is not sovereign over his creations. And it goes on and on and on and on. And Christians love this tripe. They love it. And it's no surprise to me because, again, most of the church are whitewashed mausoleums. Most of them are, are, are dead. And the whole church as a whole is barely on life support, with very few exceptions. And the Holy Spirit has been chased out. God and Jesus have been replaced by the devil. And the spirit of Antichrist is everywhere. I'm so sick of it. I would not be caught dead going to a movie like this. Wouldn't do it. It's shameful. It's embarrassing, and it's blasphemous, it's heresy, and it's garbage. And any Christian that goes to this, or read, or read, or reads that book, or any of these her heretical books, shame on you. You better fall on your face and repent before you run out of time. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. The world as we know it is finished. America's finished. It's all done. Just waiting for Jesus Christ to come take us home imminently. If you've never been saved, do your backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in a box below the video, and no one's guaranteed no second of your life even. If you'd like prayer, Contact me, I pray for you every day. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our different draw nigh. You fly soon. May God bless you. And wake up, people. Bye.